So now I'm going to move on and open a bag. So when I got the bag, it was like bubble wrapped and all in this little nasty gray paper. But yeah, it's a, so it's in a dust bag. The, the dust bag says Chanel Paris. It has the little logo. No, it does not have a year or anything else on it. It's a thin dust bag. I ordered a boy bag for like $35. Chanel boy bag. That's what it's supposed to be like. And here's the chain. Oof. And yes, I have worn it out already because it's been a while. And the little button say Chanel on them. I'm sorry if this is a bad angle, but yeah, the button shape Chanel for you to like push through to adjust your strap so you can take it a little like this and then move it on to the other little ball button and push it on. And also, I'm not going to say this is leather because I really don't think that I'm getting a leather bag for $35. But this is actually like a nice material and it's a, um, it, it feels a little sturdy. It might be poly your thing, but, um, yeah. So let's go to the back of the bag. Here's, here's the bag. Here's the quilting. It didn't really have any stitching errors. Oh, on the sides, it says Chanel. And yes, it does look backwards because of my camera, but. It's okay. It is what it is. You know what I'm talking about. Right? And so all of the hardware is the same color all around. And then we have the little lock and the button on the lock. It also has the little CC thing. You squeeze like this to open it. And it's set. Yeah. And there's nothing up here. Inside of the bag, that little reflective thing is the word Chanel and the little logo and it has a zipper right here when you first open it oh god this is kind of hard to show but it has a zipper right here when you first open it it's too skinny for you to actually put anything in but it's a decent size bag or whatever and yeah so I think my only complaint with this bag is oh yeah here's the bottom and stuff if you want to see yeah, and this like this little bending right here, it came from me putting a lot of stuff in it because yeah, I know it's weird. But um I'm one of those people who will buy a small purse or a crossbody purse and I know it's not meant to hold the entire world in it, but I put it in there anyway, so it is what it is. If my bag breaks, it breaks. Yes, it has happened before, but not with this particular bag. So yes, this Yeah. So there's that and honestly i think i would buy the bag again if i like if i knew what i would buy the bag again because it's nice you know it feels whatever a little sturdy but um i don't think i would like buy it from aliexpress particularly or at least that seller because i don't think that was worth going through that little hassle and stress right so this is the bag oh my only complaint with it is oh yeah i was trying to tell you because i overstuffed my bags so this on the side right here the part that says chanel it starts to bend up because like yeah like that you see when i have it on my shoulder it's like pulling up on both sides and i guess the little fake leather polyurethane thing started to wear out because at first it was just like straight across and then over time it started to go up like that whenever i wear it because i guess i was putting too much stuff in it and then i tried to put less stuff in it and yeah the same thing still happens now so i guess i just that's on me that's my fault but um this concludes our first video of broken bougie with paris the connoisseur once again this is the bag actually let me put this in the back i think i'll include a picture of here in here of when i not too long after i got the bag but yeah that's it and hmm, i hope you enjoy it if you want to see more let me know yeah